In today's day and age, companies often pull data from multiple different sources. In order to effectively analyze that data, you're going to need a data warehouse in order to store all of that data in a single location. So today, we will be demoing how to connect the Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse, or ADW, with a third-party business analytics tool like Tableau. Now, Tableau is a very popular tool used widely across multiple different companies. And the good thing about the Oracle ADW is the fact that not only is it compatible with our own analytics tools like Oracle Analytics Cloud, but it's also connected with any kind of third-party tool you'll want, including Tableau. So let's get into this demo, shall we? Here we have the architecture for today's demo. In the center, we have the autonomous database cloud, which the ADW is a flavor of. And it has all sorts of built-in tools like Oracle Machine Learning, the Service Console, et cetera, et cetera. And all of this is connected to analytics, which we have our own Oracle Analytics Cloud and a third-party analytics tool like Tableau that we will be showing today. Here we have the different Tableau deployment types. First, we have Tableau Desktop, which is what we will be showing today, which helps you create analytical workbooks and dashboards on your own local machine. Then we have Tableau Server, which is a Tableau installed in a server, and you can log into it via a browser and collaborate with other users on the same workspace. Finally, there's Tableau Online, which is Tableau Server hosted in Tableau's own cloud service. Now let's go over some prerequisites on how to connect Tableau to ADW. Obviously, you will need Tableau and ADW. The first thing you will need to do is provision an ADW instance. Secondly, you will need to install Oracle Instant Client. What Oracle Instant Client is, is essentially a bridge that allows you to connect any kind of third-party application to an Oracle database. Thirdly, you will need the ADW wallet file. The wallet file is a zip file that contains all the credentials necessary in order to connect to that specific ADW instance. Finally, you will need the Tableau drivers. The drivers will allow Tableau itself to connect to Oracle databases. The good thing is once you have Oracle Instant Client and Tableau drivers set up, you will not need to worry about those ever again. If you ever want to switch to a different ADW instance, all you will need to do is download and unzip that specific instance's wallet file. Now let's get into the actual demo. We have set up Oracle Instant Client, we have downloaded the correct wallet file, and we have installed the Tableau drivers. In order to connect Tableau to my ADW instance, I'm going to click on Oracle, which will open this screen. We will be connecting to Oracle DB underscore high, which you can find in the tnsnames.ora file for your specific wallet file. Then we are going to enter the username, which is admin, and the password, and click Sign In. Once it loads and logs in, you will come to this screen. Now, we are going to be using something called the Sample Star Schema Benchmark. This is a diagram of the Sample Star Schema Benchmark, or SSB. Since it's a star schema, you can see that there is a primary table at the center here, along with the different foreign tables on the outside. As you can see in the center table here, we have 6 billion rows. And then in the other tables, we have 2 million, 2 million, 30 million, and 2,500. As you can see, this is a pretty big data set. This data set is included for free in every single ADW instance. So if you wish to repeat what I'm about to show you in this demo today, you can do so in your own trial environment. Now let's load the data into Tableau. I'm going to be loading the primary table, as well as all of its secondary tables, like so. And you will see all of the data displayed below here. Notice also that we are on a live connection, not extract. That means Tableau itself is not doing any sort of caching. This is so we can provide accurate performance metrics on ADW across a large data set such as this. Now, even though Tableau itself is not doing any sort of caching, ADW has its own buffer cache, which means any queries that you ran before will be able to be pulled instantaneously from the buffer cache. And this will be instantaneous not only for you, but for anybody else who is also connecting to that ADW instance. Now let's make some visualizations. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to aggregate the sum of revenue. As you can see, this is a huge number. Next, we are going to make another aggregation. 
Let's take line number. Now, what line number is, is that it's an ID for the different products. So adding them up in a sum is not very interesting. However, we can change the measure to count. And as you can see, we counted about 6 billion rows. Now you could see that is a huge number before, but let's prove that this is actually a 6 billion row table. So I'm going to take line number and make another aggregation. Now line number is an ID for which different products went along which different lines. So adding them up and giving a sum is not very interesting. However, we can change the measurement from sum to count. And as you can see here, 5,999,989,000, yada, yada, yada. It is about 6 billion rows. You can see for yourself right there. Now let's make some actual visualizations. For this one, we're going to make a pie chart. So we're going to select pie chart. Then we're going to take line number and put it as an angle. And remember that line number is an ID, so we want the count, not the sum. And then finally, we're going to use the ship mode for the color. And we can even use a ship mode for labels so it's easier to read. So here we can see our pie chart. We have shipped 857 million products by truck, 857 million products by ship, 857 million by air, by rail, by mail. You can see that it's a fairly even split across all the multiple different types of transportation methods. This is probably a good thing because if one of these methods is taken out of commission for whatever reason, whether it be through a hurricane or a train robbery, you will not be losing a significant amount of your product simply because one of these is out of commission. Now let's do a visualization across multiple tables. Before, everything we have done has been on the table line order, and while line order is a big table at 6 billion rows, this is a star schema after all. So let's add some extra tables on top of it. Let's take revenue, which is from line order, and color, which is from parts. All right, here we have our graph showing revenue by color. We can see from this that aquamarine, which is this bar, is the most popular meaning that we should probably make more aquamarine colored products in the future as that is in high demand. Now that we have shown you everything taken from buffer cache, let's finally create a graph that's taken directly from cold cache so that we can show you how well this ADW performs when it's actually being pulled. Now everything we have done before has been pulled from buffer cache, which is why it was instantaneous. Now let's create a graph that we haven't ran before and thus allow us to show how well ADW truly performs. So let's take out color and instead do revenue across nation. Reconnect this and now we are executing the query. Here we can see the revenue split up by nation. It took about four minutes for us to get this graph, which is still good performance considering how large both of those tables are. And we can see now that we have a fairly even split across all countries for our revenue, meaning that we should concentrate on all of them equally. In conclusion, Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse is a revolutionary new tool with an exceptional range of features. With ADW, you will be able to load and analyze data not only from Oracle's own analytics cloud, but also any third-party analytics tool like Tableau. This allows you to enjoy all of the autonomous capabilities of the ADW, while still enjoying all of the capabilities you already have with Tableau, thus allowing you to extract and load data quickly and derive insights from real-time data.